Hey guys, not very often you see me on video, is it? <laughs> anyway, so right now you guys are actually sitting, literally sitting, on the next uh, project repair here at the shack. I know, it's been a long time since I've had anything here. But, uh, yeah, tonight you're getting to see something that's. Uh, Let's just say, I can't say I've ever had one here, especially with this caliber. This is uh, something special, definitely. Um, so, yeah. I know I've been uploading a lot of videos and with shortwave radio stuff and that. And again, that's about uh, basically since the Ukraine war started with Russia. Russia started the war with Ukraine. I've been listening to a lot of that. So the last, I was at last night for about an hour or so. I kind of gave up on it. And uh, I said, boys, you know, I think it's time that I start concentrating a little bit more on, you know, what you guys want. I posted a post in the community center section there a little while ago. So, uh, can you hear that cat of mine? The cat is nuts. <laughs> Uh, my actual computer in the room in there that I mostly used a lot of, well, I can't go in there anymore because the cat, Mr. Tabby, has literally taken over my computer. Literally. And, uh, actually, let's go in the room and see how much the cat has taken over my computer. It's just nuts. So there's Mr. Tabby. What are you watching, Tabby? Are you watching Domino's? <laughs> He's actually watching Domino's. Hey, puss. Tabby. Say hello. Say hello. You say hello to everybody? Say hi. Not gonna say hi? <laughs> He's more interested in watching Domino's. <laughs> Crazy. Literally sits there all day. And <laughs> just crazy. So, yeah. That is a crazy cat. I'm thinking that's a very spoiled cat. So basically, I've had to move from that room to my shack back here. This is pretty much where I'm going to spend my time because the cat has taken over my other room. If I go in there and try to actually use my computer, he's there bawling at me. Literally bawling at me to get off it because he wants to watch his stuff. So, quitting I got a second laptop here. But anyways, I digress. So, what you guys are sitting on is something I'd say was pretty expensive in its day. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty expensive if you're to buy it now. But, uh, let's have a little uh, looky-poo here and... Uh, Let's see what we got. This is what we have. It's the MFJ 4275MV 75 amp switching power supply. I can't say that I have had a 75 amp power supply sitting in front of me uh, in my entire life other than a battery. <laughs> but for an actual power supply, this is the absolute largest power supply in regards to amperage that has ever been sitting in front of me. And you guys are going to get to look on the inside of this thing because it was sent to me to have a quick look at to see what the possible issues are. Well, uh, I actually plugged, well, actually, of course I actually did it, but I plugged it in and turned the machine on earlier and uh, just to see was what? Well, when I turned it on, I heard a very familiar noise. Do you want to hear it yourself? Well, let's turn on the power supply. Dong! Yeah, I like the old power supplies. The old transformers got a dong. This one haven't got a dong because it's a switching power supply. 
spot. Have a listen. Have a close listen over here. Bring it over here. Have a listen. Somebody frying eggs in there? <laughs> Yeah, you guessed it. This power supply is suffering from bad capacitors or bad capacitor. So, yeah. Let's turn it off before it explodes. But um, let's uh, let's pull the cover off of this. See what it looks like on the inside, and see if we can figure out what capacitor is uh, without. <gasps> Electro frying myself because I'm sure this wouldn't be very pleasant on the fingers. Yeah, electro fry. Yeah, let's not do that. All right, boys, let's dive into it. <laughs> so, yeah, without electro frying myself here, she's unplugged, but uh, still. 200 volts, still not very, you know, uh, nice crust of fingers. Mm, I've actually done that years ago. And I mean years ago. Remember the more disposable cameras? Flash cameras, disposable ones, buying for like 10 bucks, 5 bucks. Took a bit of film, whatever. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Uh, do take them apart. <laughs> I did, and have had a very shocking experience. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so this is the guts of the power supply. We have one, two, three, four filter capacitors. These are a 100 UF, or as everybody likes to hear me say, or reminds me to say, 1000 microfarad, 200 volt electrolytic capacitorials. Yum, yum, yum. So, we have four of these bad boys. Let's see how many bad boys are in here. Let's see, any bad boys on this side? Oh, we have a bunch of bad boys over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight. We have eight of them. Four there. Four there. So, um, yeah, so we have a capacitor problem, but uh, let's um, plug this thing in without <coughs> electrocuting myself and um, see if we hear exactly where the um, uh, frying eggs are coming from inside this beast of a power supply. Alright. She is now fueled. <laughs> so, uh, ignition in three, two, one. Yummy. Definitely sounds like it's these little, these little bad boys. All right, let's turn it off again. And swing her around here. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if the ones on this side might be bad. Ignition in three, two, one. This side seems uh, quiet. And uh, there's one thing I have to say right now. 
I don't like about this thing right exactly right now I don't like the fact that this front panel is only plastic how in the world were they planning on uh, keeping um, electrical noise from escaping from this power supply with a plastic front <sighs> good question wash my fingers over here <laughs> I mean couldn't they put a steel front on this these binding posts they could have had a little plastic cut out a little plastic mount for this you know this is what they've done You've got the actual binding posts. Just directly goes from here, straight through, and connects over yonder. But I digress. And here's the phone. Alrighty then, boys. So we now have me probers connected with me meter right there. Let me get it. Let me see if we can get that lit up better. Probably not. Oh well, those are going to get. Anyway, so let's uh, switch on the frying pan. Right now I got the voltage down low to 3.85 volts. So let's do a little voltage um, increasement here and see what happens. Sixteen volts thereabouts. Volt meters right there. So let's have a listen to the capacitor. Turn off that old radio. There we go. I said turn off. There we go. All right, just listen, listen to these lovelies. Listen to this as I increase voltage here. Just listen, just listen. Eight volts. Ten volts. Twelve volts. Thirteen volts. Fourteen. 15, 16. So, um, they're definitely uh, um, frazzled. Definitely. So, uh, I'm going to get a price on new capacitors for this thing tomorrow. See how much they're going to cost. And I guess we're going to go from there. Get a cost how much these are going to be to replace. And then to, for me to pull this thing apart. Because that's going to be fun all by itself. And I want to make note of one special thing MFG done with this. And it makes absolute zero sense to me um exhibit a right in here a fuse let's just say that fuse decided to uh, die well <clears throat> how in the world Are you supposed to get, like, you know, change that <laughs> without taking the AC section out to change the fuse? 
why couldn't he just put a fuse holder in the back of this thing somewhere anywhere in front anywhere at all but no let's put it on a circuit board and bury it in parts like that's ridiculous <laughs> anyway so I'll get a price on the uh, parts for this tomorrow and uh, contact the owner of this power supply and uh, see where you want to go from there but uh, yeah the MFJ 4275 MV 75 amp switching power supply stay tuned because I'm sure it is going to get real interesting in the next few videos Catch you next time.